Minneapolis police data shows an 11% increase in violent crimes the past 30 days compared to the same time period last year. Homicides are outpacing 2019 as well. Kaya Edwards joins us now live and Kaya, what are police doing to curb all this violence? Chris, good morning. Minneapolis police are now working with state and federal law enforcement agencies. They're also boosting their own patrols in some neighborhoods. That being said, some people are spreading an opposite message online, that the death of George Floyd and the unrest that followed has slowed down police response time. However, the department's spokesperson says that is not true. And Mayor Fry says officers have faced attacks while responding to shootings where they've been surrounded, uh, pelted by bottles and rocks, or even worse. Some peace activists have noticed that too, including Lisa Clemens, who is a former police officer, but she blames city council because of its proposal to dismantle the police department. The disrespect that we feel they showed us, we're showing them. And, and I think it's the divide that our city council has created. Meantime, city council president Lisa Bender says that the violence and mistrust that we need to uh, focus on whole community solutions, she said. Chris. Right, well, let's hope the right committees can work together to curb this violence. Thanks, Kaya.